Hey, Derek here at Castaway Studios. Today I'm running through my learning curve on using an old iPad, in this case a Generation 4, as a touch screen extra monitor to have on my desk primarily while using OBS as a controller so I can visualize the scene and press it and we go straight to that scene. It is awesome and it seems to be working. Let me run you through that straight after this. So I'm back and let me run you straight through this. So here's my desk right now after just uh, setting this up and here is me in the corner. All right, so this is the iPad in question. I've installed a software called iDisplay. I found a few different ones that, that appear to do this job. Um, but this is the first one I found that would install uh, without any trouble on a Generation 4, which is a, which I don't know, but it, there's a limit to the operating system that Generation 4 will allow. So iDisplay worked. I installed it. cost me about 22 Australian dollars. That's probably about 15 American or something like that. Um, so uh, you install that. And you install it on the computer. I tried it at home last night, and on my Mac, and it worked. It worked really easily. And I got to work today. Installed the other end, which is free, onto the PC, and it did connect. I've got it now. It connected wirelessly using the Wi-Fi, but I've got it using the USB cable. There was one. I'll just start it up while we're. Uh, in case there's a hitch, <laughs> I'm just getting used to this. Um, it was lagging about 20 seconds, so when you use the touch screen, it would have immediate results as as a uh, choice of screen on OBS. It would change absolutely as you touched it. But then I googled something and I I set the preview compression. No, I, I, I set the compression in this software to hardware driven and then it, 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 it's about a two second delay which doesn't really matter because it is um, it doesn't really matter because it is the OBS that has to respond immediately and if you're changing scenes within two seconds there's something wrong with you anyway but it's a small price to pay considering the small price you pay all right i'm going to get uh get over to this now and show you obs obviously we're getting this amagama vibe as we always do when we're doing a screen display of our screen display of our screen display but there it is um so i'm going to go to view Okay, at the top left, ignore all the crazy and just look at the mouse at the top left. I'll go to view there and multi view full screen, and you'll see there's one, two, three, four screens. So I've got one, two, I've got three normal monitors set up here, and this is the fourth one. Now, before I've done that, I've also set up a windowed multi view on one of my other monitors just so as I can operate this while this thing starts up. So I'm going to press, dis press display four, which is now the, um, the iPad. In the window setting where you arrange it, I arranged it so that the iPad is roughly physically where it is so that my mouse can actually go down onto it as well. So I've done that and then I'm going to switch scenes now using the iPad and there it is. Okay, so um, this is the iPad and this is the setting. So up the top here you have this um, preview and what's currently showing area. I haven't even worked out what how you why there are two there but that's just how it is um, and then I can flip through you'll see two scenes one with me and one without me and uh, that's immediate as I touch it but if you look uh, if you look um, if you look on the actual iPad you'll notice 
there's a couple of seconds before the preview up here changes. All right, so what I'm going to do, if you could bear with me, I will let the old Logitech PTZ Pro uh, 2 camera zoom in there, and there is what it looks like. So I want to have it just me, and there's just me, higher. And the, the great thing is you can get a visual of the scene. It's big enough to see right there, and it's right near you too. Um, and you can see the, which is the one with, without me, which is the one with me. And you can see your little face in real time. Wow, within, give it or take a couple of seconds. All right, so that's that. Now, one of the reasons why I was chasing um, a touchscreen monitor to have on my desk is is more of a personal, like a, a human nature reason. Because I've got a podcast studio where a lot of people now are getting filmed doing their podcast, they not don't necessarily want to have them glancing uh, all the time across to the screen over here where I'm busily uh, trying to produce a podcast and a film at the same time. I don't want them to see that. So instead of me having to constantly move my monitors around to create a little wall so they can't see it, I can uh, I can simply operate it from down here and they aren't tempted to keep glancing across to see if their makeup's all right or hair's all right or whatever. All right, so that is why. And so far, well, while making this video, it's been working very, very well. All right, so one last glance and then back to me. And then when I press, let me show you, I press this button, that's what kicks off my outro. See you later.